Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Overnight Action Report here at MarketStream.Live for the new trading week, March 20th. Uh, my name is Joseph Cusick from the Cusick Group, securities offered by MoneyBlock. Here to take a look at all the action that happened overnight, and there's quite a bit that has kicked off this week, so I want to jump in right away and take a look. Japan was offline. They had their uh, spring equinox holiday, so the exchange was closed overnight, will be open uh, tonight or tomorrow, however you want to look at it. But there was still quite a bit of action in the yen. Uh, the yen right now is trading up against the U.S. dollar. You can see the pair trading right now at 112.80. What's notable here is, is that the range has been relatively tight overnight, but yen strength continues. And that's something that's notable because that's going to weigh on the markets in Japan. Uh, we're going to watch this very closely. Also, uh, some notable names that were under pressure last, last week, uh, specifically Toshiba, uh, continue to try to see how they're going to basically um, unwind uh, not only their nuclear assets here in the United States, um, they made some pretty large investments that went south on them, and now they're looking to potentially raise capital through selling portions of their um, of the firm, specifically their chip segment. So we'll watch that very closely. Taking a look at the Shanghai Composite, you saw that the Shanghai Composite did finish up uh, about four tenths of percent, thirteen points at thirty two fifty. You also saw that Hong Kong did finish the day up 192 at um, 24,502. Uh, you can see that both these indices are closing off of their best levels uh, so far in uh, for the day on the Shanghai Composite in Hong Kong. Uh, basically, we haven't seen a move like this. Why, you might ask? Um, well, they had some pretty robust housing data. Uh, the... Um, February uh, housing prices came out uh, and they were up three tenths of percent. Uh, there was an expectation of maybe a two percent, two point, uh, point two percent increase in housing prices, but housing has absolutely been on fire. Um, we did see that 56 out of 70 of the large cities saw uh, price increases. Um, that's compared to last month where we saw only 45 cities noting price increases. Why is this something that we're all paying attention to? Um, well, you have 11.8% year-over-year housing price growth in China. Um, the Chinese uh, housing market has been red hot. Uh, also, the Hong Kongese uh, markets. Uh, you saw last week that they raised um, short-term interest rates, borrowing rates, uh, on you know basically anywhere from a few days to borrowing over a 30-day period. Again, they're, they're seeing strength. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, People's Bank of China governor, uh, and I'm going to kill this name, uh, Chu Xiao Chuan, uh, came out and said at the G20 meeting that they feel that the uh, economy is strong, that they feel that the prospects are very positive, and um, they feel that now they can move on to working on more um, structural changes to their economy. So uh, I think that uh, there was an interesting article from Bloomberg that came out on China. Uh, it, it was actually talking about the impact of tariffs. Um, I also, th and, and how it could really impact small businesses in China. Um, it, it was an interesting article worth checking out. Uh, and also, I think the housing market, if the Chinese are raising rates because we raised rates here in the U.S., that puts a risk. Yes, that is robust, the housing market in China. But if it, it starts to get pressure either from the builders or the construction side, or you start to see that the consumer is not going to be purchasing, uh, or you see consumer credit in, in China come under pressure, uh, that could really start putting some brakes on some things. So we want to keep an eye on this, but the markets are moving to the upside in both Shanghai and Hong Kong. All right, folks, that is it right now for the overnight action report, taking a look at all the action that's happening uh, in uh, Asia. We will be back online at 8.45 Eastern time where we're going to talk about everything going on in Europe. See you then.